Waking up naked out on the beach we were Hi guys, um, I'm gonna get ready now to go out with on my date with Jake We're going to a nice Italian restaurant that I really like in DC It's called Al Baldo, so if you're ever in the area, definitely check it out um, I just curled my hair for the second time in my life, so I don't know how it looks. It looks okay for being the second time I've ever curled my hair. I'm like such a knocked girl. So I'm just gonna start putting on my makeup and I thought we'd just chat. I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. I have these two things from Benefit. The Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I've been using this one a lot more. Um, so I'm just gonna be like looking over here because the mirror is here, but yeah. So I just try to fill in some gaps in uh, my eyebrows that occur naturally. This one goes, it doesn't go as far as this one, so I would try to extend that one. I just fill it in slightly. And then I try to do hair-like strokes. I'm not very good at it, but I try my best, you know? Also, I'm like shaking because I had way too much caffeine. So that's one eyebrow. I feel like other people's eyebrows always look so amazing. Anyway, I guess I should just talk a little bit about me and Jake. This is a Jake's and I's first fancy dinner date in a while because Jake hasn't had a job and I've been just budgeting and saving a lot of money so we've been doing a lot of free stuff um, but we're gonna kind of treat ourselves tonight and go to this fancy restaurant which I'm really excited about and yeah so I guess I'll talk a little bit about how Jake and I met we met on Hinge the app Hinge sponsor us um, eyebrows are done Okay, and so now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I also don't know how to do eyeshadow, so this will be really fun. Um, so I'm gonna use some um, NARS concealer as the under eyes, the under stuff. And I have like two really small palettes because like I said, I don't do my makeup. That's a bobby pen. I have the Tardiest Pro to Go and um, eyeshadow palette it has some really pretty colors in it i mainly just like put glitter on my eyes when i try to do my eyeshadow so i also have the tarte tarte palette flirt palette <laughs> and that also has some pretty colors in it i just like warm um glittery simple colors so i'm gonna try to do that it's gonna be great i don't know what i'm doing so i'm gonna use gaze on this part of my eye. <laughs> wow, I did it. Amazing. And now, let's see what color. I really like this really warm peach, pinkish color. It's called Touch. So I'm gonna put some of that somewhere. It's gonna be great. So next, I'm gonna put on Hotline all over the lid. Anyway, yeah, Jake and I met on Hinge, and I wasn't really interested in dating that time because I was like pretty sick with something, and I just wasn't feeling well at all. But um, he just like talked to me in an actually interesting fashion. He didn't just like hit on me. He asked me about something on my profile that we had in common, which was going to China. Yes. And so I just thought that was really nice of him. Um, he was able to keep a conversation via text. I get really uncomfortable when guys want to meet up at first. Like, immediately just because i don't feel quite safe um so he was able to have a conversation for a while i think we chatted via text for like a week before we met up and i wasn't i was just starting not drinking at the time so i didn't really want to go to a bar or anything um and so he suggested the museums um because there's a lot of museums here and so that was a lot of fun our first date and i knew that like he was interesting he didn't try to touch me or anything on the first day which was really nice uh, because I don't know I was kind of in an interesting place and I was kind of I just wanted to keep to myself kind of um, Yeah, and then I'm putting hype in my inner corner Because I think that's supposed to go there, but I don't know and so the following dates were really nice too. We went to um, get ramen and then we went to the opera, which was really awesome. He always had like really cool date ideas. I think like our fourth date we went to the Finnish embassy. Um, and these was all like in the span of a week and a half um, to go see a documentary. And uh, it was like a lot of really cheap things. So he was really good at finding like really cool events that were like inexpensive. So. And I like that. I like thrifty people, frugal people. 
won't work later. So now I'm gonna do my under eye. So now I'm gonna use the NARS Creamy Concealer on my under eye. Wait, no, I'm gonna set this first. I think that's what people do, right? With my Hangover RX 3-in-1 Too Faced Setting Spray. Um, this stuff smells so good. And then I'm gonna hit it under eye with this. But yeah, so what was I saying? Which date was I on? Okay, so then after those really cool dates, he like gave me, he like, we kissed after the opera and then, but he still like was, was pretty hesitant. Um, I thought he like wanted to be friends at the opera until he kissed me because I was like, this guy hasn't made any moves. Um, but that was kind of nice. That was kind of refreshing because I feel like a lot of guys will jump into things really quick and then don't feel. Um, don't love that. He was really wonderful in that aspect. And then, and then he had me over um, for a home cooked meal. So he um, came over and he was gonna cook me meatballs, which was his special recipe or whatever. Um, so then we did that and watched a movie and then I left um, that evening and then we wanted to see each other the next day. So we saw each other and then we wanted to see each other the next day and we saw each other. So it was like four nights in a row where we hung out together. Um, like I was dropping anything to go see him, which was really different for me. Um, cause I'm pretty laid back. I don't like to show my interest too much, but there was just something about him that was so easy for me to, he just, he was just so easy to be with. Um, and then after that we were literally inseparable like we took a few days after those four days where we hung out where we were both like backing up and we were trying to see like whoa what just happened like we've been together four days in a row um, I know I was feeling that way I don't know if he was I think he was but we were just like whoa what's happened and so then after that we like spent a few days apart and but after a little while we were inseparable so um, every night you know we would we would talk all day you know, we were inseparable, and then something really devastating happened in my life, in my personal life. Um, you know, someone passed away that was really important to me, a person I used to date, who cared a, meant a lot to me, and he just acted with such grace and such care for me, um, but also gave me like a space to grieve. I like thought it was going to be the end of us. I thought this was just going to be like too difficult to go through with him, um, but we managed to make it through. I'm gonna go get my foundation. Um, so I'm gonna put some foundation on. I typically never put on foundation, but this is what I'm doing. So I use Fenty Beauty in 0210 and the Laura Perfection Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever in PR8. So I just mix both. So after going through that with Jake, I was going through a really rough time with my health as well. Um, there was just some really pressing things that I was worried that like he wouldn't be able to handle. Um, but yeah, we made it through. We were like just inseparable after like mid-November this time last year and We spent Thanksgiving. He spent a lot of time during Thanksgiving with me. He's English. So doesn't really celebrate We were just so serious um, We like would you know, we called each other teammate um, We were like ready to go to the ends of the earth for each other um, and then it hit like end of December January and he's English so he his visa was gonna end in April and so he was gonna have to make a he was planning to go home at that point he had a job waiting for him in Prague um, and you know I was just like oh my god we're gonna have to break up like I cannot do long distance I'm not gonna do long distance like this has been amazing but um I was I would have gone with him but you know like around January we figured out like we want to be together like this is it and slowly like he didn't really like fully tell me but he was making plans to remain in the country so he hired a lawyer and he decided to apply for a different visa um it was like a really hard process he's gonna he was gonna have to stop working for months and he loves his job he was gonna have to leave his current job and i was kind of like overwhelmed that he was making this decision um because it's just a lot to go through with someone but that's what he decided. He decided to do stay for me. And you know, that's how I knew that, you know, he was all in for me. There was no one else that he wanted and uh, we've been just been inseparable ever since. He's been so wonderful. Um, he's definitely like my favorite person on earth. Yeah, I don't know. So he's still going through his visa process. It's been like eight months. It's been really difficult for us at certain points just because he loves work. He loves being busy. He loves seeing people all day. And he's just been alone most of the day, helping people when he can. He's been so wonderful. So 
I don't know. He's just been great. But he, I know it's been really tough on him. He can't leave the country to see his family. He, you know, has just been stuck here for like eight months not doing anything except for being with me. And so I know it's a huge sacrifice for him to make and I'm really so grateful. And so yeah, that was uh, me and Jake. Um, so now I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Sift Setting Powder to set the makeup. Yeah, I don't know. So he's still going through his visa process. It's been like eight months. It's been really difficult for us at certain points just because he loves work, he loves being busy, he loves seeing people all day, and he's just been alone most of the day, helping people when he can. He's been so wonderful, like so um, resourceful. And he, I know it's been really tough on him. He can't leave the country to see his family. He, you know, has just been stuck here for like eight months, not doing anything except for being with me. And so I know it's a huge sacrifice for him to make, and I'm really so grateful. And so yeah, that was uh, me and Jake. Um, so now I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier Sift Setting Powder to set the makeup, and um, Jake called me a little sweat sometimes, so I'm kind of gross like that, but it keeps dying due to heat. Um, but yeah, so I've just added some whatever it's called, and I'm gonna contour now with my Anastasia Contour Kit. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx for like $15, so that was a crazy deal. We love that. And I cannot wait until he gets his travel permit and he's able to leave the country and go see his family. I'm like really excited for him to be able to do that because I know how much they mean to him. Guys, I'm stressed. I do my best, but like my best is sometimes not good enough. I'm gonna do some nose contour because my nose looks like it doesn't exist. I look like Voldemort. I couldn't find the brush I usually use, so I'm just using my finger and moving on with my life. My nose hurts. What happened to it? Um, then I'm gonna use my Tarte Pistol blush um, and blush my face, right? Okay, I might have over made up, but. Now I'm gonna put on a bit of eyeliner. And I'm really bad at it, so I'm just gonna do it and not focus on you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna mascara my face. God, I'm so like bothered by this part of my face. And it's the Roller Lash by Benefit. It's just a sample. I love this stuff. I've been yes. had it for like so long. I don't want to buy the full price one because it's so expensive, but I might have to. So I don't know how to put falsies on, so I literally just use mascara. And I really like stare at all the women who put falsies on. I'm like, wow, you're my dream. Okay. So I've done my makeup, the sink is totally dirty, <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go get dressed. So I'm getting ready to leave, I'm just going to put on some silver earrings, but I want to show you my outfit. I'm wearing the silver uh, theory top, um, some black jeans, and my treasure and bond boots. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be off camera because we're going on our date. Um, I forgot to mention I'm also wearing my All Saints black leather jacket. Um, on top because it's raining. Guess who I'm sleeping with? No room for Jesus. We were still freezing in mid July. I'll catch you creeping.